Last week, we reflected on how two days before Jesus died, an unnamed woman stepped out of line and anointed Jesus. In her, Jesus found understanding a thing that other disciples, especially Peter, rarely had to offer. She knew that Jesus was the Messiah and that he was about to suffer and die. She also knew that his suffering and death were an essential part of his mission. For months prior to Jesus' death, he had been teaching that his dying had to be held together with his rising. Further, this was not only true for him, it was also true for them and us. None but the unnamed woman understood. For the others, the path of suffering was incompatible with the promise of glory. The three women are about to get a lesson on dying and rising. Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome went to anoint the body of Jesus. Now that Jesus' life was over, their love draws them to the tomb to fulfill the rituals of love and grief. The women are very practical. They had seen that a large stone had been rolled across the mouth of the tomb. They knew that they needed help. They asked, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? This question has symbolic meaning that has echoed across the centuries. Who will help us understand how to enter the death and resurrection of Jesus? How are we to be buried with Christ so as to rise with him? We all must enter the tomb. But how do we also enter resurrection? An unnamed young man is waiting inside to answer their questions. Grace has already rolled the stone back, and the women are drawn in. Lesson one, do not be alarmed. Fear gets in the way of understanding. Take a deep breath and listen. The young man is there to help them and us find the crucified one. Lesson two, Jesus is not in the tomb. See for yourself, Jesus will not be found among the dead. Lesson three, go and meet Jesus in Galilee, just as he had instructed you to do before he died. Galilee is where it all began, the original place of preaching, teaching, and healing. Go and begin again. But this time, the risen Christ will be with you just one step ahead. Dying and rising must be held together. This is the divine plan. Jesus' resurrection reveals that death and resurrection is the very identity of creation. Death and resurrection is always drawing us in. Christ is drawing us in closer to God and eternity. The women then fled trembling, remembering that the resurrection of Jesus struck his followers with panic, helps us to be aware of our own fear, fear of the unknown, 
Fear of a world we cannot control or understand. Once we acknowledge our fear, we become free to set our face into the wind, take up our cross, and follow Jesus. Don't be afraid. Jesus is always just one step ahead of us.